Hey everyone, so we're doing part 2 of this cake, the chocolate frosting. I have some room temperature butter, some semi-sweet chocolate chips, and some 70% um, chocolate, and powdered sugar, some heavy whipping cream, and some salt. So first we want to heat up our whipping cream. You can use the microwave or just heat it under the stove until there's little bubbles form and just pour that hot cream to the chocolate and just set it aside. Don't touch it, don't bother it, don't do anything to it. So about 5 minutes later, just use a fork and just stir the cream and chocolate together. It will look kind of freaky at first and don't worry, you're not messing anything up. Just keep stirring and the magic will happen. Don't freak out or anything, okay? And just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. And this beautiful shiny chocolate ganache will come out. You see how beautiful it is? It was like, <laughs> it looks so good that I just wanted to eat that thing. But I have to hold on to myself and make the frosting first before eating it, right? After you're done with the chocolate ganache, just set it aside until we need it. Next, we have some room temperature butter and just mix it on high for about 30 seconds until it is creamy. And we will add in our powdered sugar and salt and Mix it under high speed for about another 2 or 3 minutes or until it is very fluffy and it turns a pale white color. So always remember to scrape down the sides so when you're done whipping the butter, we can add in the chocolate ganache. So after you add in the chocolate in, just Mix it under low speed for another 45 seconds or so until everything has come together. The chocolate frosting should be really fluffy and it should taste really good. So when you're done mixing, you can just use a plastic wrap and just cover it up and put it in the refrigerator till you need it. And I'll see you in part 3 for the assembly of this cake. <laughs>